I've written There's a lot of orders on steroids. it. Am I on steroids? No, but A Rod is over here. A Rod is. <laughs> Alright, well, this is a new easy to throw boomerang. Sylvia, I'm Sarah. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Are you ready to do this? Yes, sure. You want to get ready? Hold that for one second. Roll the shoulders, warm up, bend the knees. Let's get ready, let's get ready, let's get ready to rumble. Alright, sky slashes. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to grab another one. Okay, let's go. You want to put your thumb in the little thumb rest there, turn the graphic to the top. This way? Yep, you got it. Thumb right here. Place it up here like this. Really easy on the wrist. And then we're going to... Woo! That was all right. As long as you didn't hit any heads. Nice and easy, like a frisbee. Try it this way. Turn around. Not bad. Let's try it this way, like a frisbee. Oh, I'm aiming for him. You can aim for whoever you want. Do you want to get some more? Yes. Don't aim for him. That might hurt. Are you right? How's your heart? You're not going to have a heart attack? Oh, no, I'm fine. All right, girl. I'm good for an 80 year old. You're 80? So what toy are we playing with here right now? This is the junk ball, the one that I was telling you about earlier. You can do a sinker with it depending on which way. You're going to throw a razor up on that, sinker if you're throwing it like this, and you can throw curve balls when you hold it like this. All you got to do is open up the air tights, or if you want to have a fast ball, close them up a little bit and you can get a fast curve ball. So knuckle ball is my favorite, just hold it like this and you can throw a nice slow knuckle ball. Okay. Goes with no spin. Try it again. And uh, open it up again, you can get a curveball going on. Right. So you can put a finger on either side of the red ring, like this. Yeah, it's not just I You're going to take a couple steps back. Excuse me, guys, for one second. Okay. We have a, a baseball fan here. Come on, back here. All the way back here. All the way back here. I'm going to go down here. I feel like my Tony Island. Oh, I'm aiming for you? Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can throw it that way. Aim for a little, aim for a little left of him, and it'll—I mean, a little right of him, and it'll curve in. Ready? Woo! <laughs> and you win the prize. Here's another one. That was great. <laughs> That's where you wanted it to go. Right. All Definitely. Right. That's why I have to practice my bowling. Woo! Good job. Good job. Oh, so good 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 good. Not bad. Listen, it's been a long time since I did that. Hi, Ira. Uh, we are at Little Kid's booth, and we're looking at the Presto Magic Cookie Maker. Wow, Ma, would you like to learn about how to cook As soon as I finish putting away my great grandchildren. <laughs> so her and her iPhone. <laughs> well, I'm up to the 21st century. Good for you. Yes. Yes. Email? Yes, I have an email. I have a YouTube. I'm on MySpace and I'm on now Facebook. I'll show you how to make a monkey cookie. So what we're doing here is we're filling up the cookie shaper with a homemade or store-bought cookie dough. And then we take one of our nice little molds here. This is the monkey shape mold. We're gonna attach it to the cookie shaper, just like this. And then add just a little touch of flour like any good baker would. Do, 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 And then give this guy a little squeeze here. Now watch as the monkey comes out of there. He's going to grow his arms. And now he's ready to go directly into the oven. And while he's oven baking, your monkey right there, he's going to uh, he's going to get frosted when he comes out. So we change the tip on this to our frosting tip. And then we can pipe and decorate any way we want. And it can look like this. And then we can end up looking like that monkey right there. It's terrific. I roll up. Don't put it on your back. Yeah. Now, where the you would actually put this in the oven to yeah. bake yeah. in a real oven. Exactly in a real oven. And any using well, any cookie dough or a special cookie dough. You can dough. use any. All right. Oh. Let's show you freeze.
Okay, so the way this works is the child takes any kind of juice that they like. So for instance, I've got some cranberry juice here. They fill up the freeze pop factory. And then let me make sure all of my accessories are in place here. This is the drip tray. Drip tray grows right in here inside of my factory. And then I take one of these plastic bags. These are a patented freeze pop bag. The way it works is it's self-sealing. I take, I attach it on to my freeze pop factory just like that. So here we go. Attach the bag just like that. Yeah. And then press down and you can see it fills the bag. And the really neat thing about these patented bags is that because of the pressure created by the juice inside, they are self-sealing, they're no drip. That's ready to go into the freezer. It's all ready to go, no mess, nothing like that. Try it again. And uh, open it up again, you can get a curveball going on. Oh no, I heard that, we're moving. Go finish <laughs> up, we'll see you later. Goodbye, okay. come with me. Wave goodbye. Bye, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get the show on the road. Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> Keep walking around, I just want to get the people behind. So today at the Little Kids Street Show, we're turning ordinary to kinder and school for our birthday into fun shape sizes and characters. We started in the middle of the back, taking the band, popping, squeezing to the kinder for the kids. Best friend. Pardon? Best friend. Well, everything's not right there, I should say, so I cleaned up.